Sweet. All right, guys, welcome to Tech City. Um, so right now, the orientation, we're going to go over rules. You break the rules, you'll probably be sitting out games. So pay attention or you will be sitting out games. Uh, my number one rule is don't cheat. Okay, so yeah, my number one rule. Uh, I got one more coming to you. Okay, <laughs> 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 Hopefully that should be it. All right. My number one rule: don't cheat. It sucks for running the game. That's basically it. Guess not. All right. Anyone else? <laughs> for those who are here, number one rule: don't cheat. It sucks for running the game. You get hit by one shot, you're out. This is not the UK. This is not the Philippines. One shot anywhere in the body, you're out. Um, if you can't feel it, I understand. Uh, basically, if you think someone's cheating, there's three reasons they might be cheating. One, they don't feel it. Two, you're missing, which is also very common. And three, they're actually cheating. If you think they're actually cheating, don't get pissed off and start yelling at them. Instead, come to us. We don't cheat or check them. I have many other guns like this one. This one shoots 425, but I won't be using this because that is brutal. So. It's not that bad. Yeah, I know. Just leave them well The next rule, of course, is basic safety. Do not take off your mask on the field at any time. Even if you're in this dead box or that super safe dead box, do not take your mask off until you actually have both feet on the carpet in the hallway. If you take your mask off, we will yell at you and make you sit out at least two games. Uh, next rule is before you enter the field, you should not have a magazine in your gun. Your gun should be on safety. So, until you hit the concrete, your gun should have no magazine in it. You shouldn't have a round in the chamber, and your gun should be on safety. Once you pass into the dead box, you can then put in your magazine and move, remove your app, uh, move your gun to semi auto or full auto. Um, once you are exiting the field, you will then remove your magazine, clear your chamber into one of the buckets, and then put your gun on safe. Removing your magazine is very simple, put your gun to semi auto, take two shots. That's all you need to remove uh, a round out of your chamber. You don't need three, you don't need a five second full auto burst, just two shots. Um, Anything else for safety wise? I don't want to go face mask. No, you didn't. So yeah, um, what? Oh yeah, climbing, sliding, running. Um, these things cannot support your weight. If you climb on them, they'll probably collapse. You will fall and I'll laugh. That'd be a splinter all over you. So, do not climb on anything. If you are running, be careful. Do not try to do those steps to stop you because they will fall over. You will be exposed and you will get lit up. And again, I will laugh. So, do not try to use them to stop you. They will not support your momentum either. Um, also, when you're running, you probably won't be able to feel your hits. You will probably end up shooting someone too close, and you will probably end up in a friendly fire. So take your time, check your targets, you know, that sort of thing. Friendly fire is not friendly, which while I'm on that, um, surrender rule. First of all, um, here we have a 10 feet surrender rule. So 10 feet is these two blue lines. So if you are within 10 feet, or if the barrel of your gun is within 10 feet, so if you are here, and you were on the way out here, that is too close. So be sure to have at least your barrel 10 feet away from the other blue line. If you're within these 10 feet, you're right here, they'll surrender, they'll three times, whatever. If they don't hear you, step back a few paces, take a shot, but don't go from the same. So, if you knew she fell within 10 feet, call yourself out, walk away, and apologize. Or apologize, then walk away. Because you probably left a nice little ball. Um, Oh, if you come barrel to barrel while surrounding, meaning you're both within 10 feet, you both have your barrels on each other, um, and you both stay surrounded, you're both out. This is, no, this is not like an outdoor field where parlay, you go back to cover, you're just both out. Basically, surrender is you pull the trigger without actually pulling the trigger. So if you both come around the corner, both stay surrender, or even if the other person doesn't stay surrender, he just has the beat on you as well, you basically both shot each other, and you're both dead. So you both walk out, that's it. Um, if one person has a clearly better angle, like the other person's looking this way and he's got the gun to his side. Of course, he's surrendering. If he's got his gun down, the other person comes at him. And the person who has the gun up has the drop. No, not both out. It's the one that has the gun Or the one that has the gun down. Um, any questions on surrendering? 
No? Okay. So, um, friendly fire counts. Gunshots do not count. Ricochet do not count. So, Ooh, that here? <coughs> From grenade launchers. This should be a grenade launcher, guys, and if you have grenade grenades and or sound grenades, I understand if you guys ever play a desert box CQB, anybody here? Yeah. Alright, I understand I'm playing a player as well. They do count when that uh, whole room to room scenario. But over here, it does depend on the crowd. If you are going to use a sound grenade or grenade grenade, please signal the referees. That way we can see where your grenade goes. And if you see somebody get hit, then you call them out. But it held up. So it does the front of the group. Alright, but well, before you let off the grenade, just take one of the rest. Let us know you're going to uh, toss the grenade or slide it through and not throw it. And if it does go off near somebody within uh, five feet, then they're up. We can have a launch. Well, launch a deep shower, they do count. Uh, I would say we're going to say it's not a grenade launch. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's how I play That's how I play all of the sport part and I heard it otherwise. So, it makes sense of a grenade or a shade and you're going to make that anyway. Um, yeah, don't throw grenades, don't drop grenades, just roll them. <laughs> and then, um, like I said, friendly fire counts, so if you get shot in the back, turn around, if there's someone looking at you, you're dead. Um, ricochets don't count, but the problem with ricochets are, you make sure it's a ricochet. Again, if you get shot from a weird angle, take a few seconds, look around, to see a person walk out. If it feels clean, like hard, walk out anyway, probably you got shot and the person went back into cover. If you're not sure, walk out. <laughs> yeah, if you're really not sure, walk out. If it feels really light, like you drop it on top of your head from a few feet away, yeah, then you're probably just a ricochet. Just remember though, first thing a cheater says is they thought it was a ricochet. <laughs> or I didn't feel it. Um, really fire, ricochet, gun hits, they don't count. So yeah, if you get shot in the gun, don't worry about it. If you shoot a guy in the gun, don't get mad because it doesn't count. Um, oh, friendly fire just count. Same thing, you're pulling the trigger, you have surrender. Uh, blind firing. Any, everyone know what blind firing is? Example of blind firing. You're doing this. Can't see what you're shooting. Which usually results in me getting shot, and then I get very mad. <laughs> so, no coming around corners, blindly shooting, no going over shooting. No doing this, no shooting like a Somalian. Please have the gun somewhere next to your body so you're shooting correctly. <laughs> you can't look down your sights, you're not shooting. This is fine. This is still acceptable shooting. Even this is fine. But please have it somewhere close to your body or touching your body so you're not blindly shooting. Again, if you do this, you're likely going to do this. I'm going to get shot and I'm going to have a sh talk with you after I shoot you back. So, because if I shoot you back, you're out anyway. So, yeah, it makes it easier on me. <clears throat> Again, um, we're going to pretty much play burst fire the whole day, unless I get shot with full burst, and then we're going to do semi-auto. Because I do not enjoy getting shot, because I don't expect it, and it hurts a lot. And usually, yeah. So, we're going to do burst once a day. Um, blind surrender. While we're on top of blind firing, you cannot do this and yell, surrender, surrender, surrender. Because you have no clue what you're seeing, so you obviously can't surrender them. So, no blind surrender, same as blind firing. Um, anyone have melee weapons? Knives, tomahawks, anything like that? Yep. Oh. So, Knives. melee weapons, they count. Um, just don't go nuts. Tap them lightly, slash them. Don't go stabbing their neck or kidney or whatever is exposed. No dragging a player to the side and splitting his throat. None of that crazy stuff. <laughs> so just tap them, slash them, you know, lightly. And then probably you want to say something like, you're dead or I killed you just so they know they've been hit. Um, you better two more? Yeah. <laughs> they missed basically everything. Uh, they missed anything? Okay. Uh, they missed anything? Oh yeah, with the idea of blind farm, you can't see over the barrier, don't try to shoot over it. I mean, don't even try to tippy toe over something like this, because again, you're probably blind firing. So, be sure, yeah, you can't shoot over it, though. Go to the side or whatever. Just say hit, raise your hand, walk towards the center. Oh, that's the point. Um, if you get hit, do not run along the edges. Go towards these center poles and follow them out. It doesn't seem safe, but a lot less fire goes down in the center than it does on the edges. Um, usually you just have to say hit once. If you want to be careful, just say I'm hit like every five, ten seconds so people know. If you do get hit, it's probably smart to put your gun out first so they don't light you up. So if you get hit and you're back in cover, put your gun out, let them shoot the gun, and then walk out safely. So, if you see a gun come out that's kind of at an odd angle, don't light it up because the guy's probably hit. 
You see a hand just come out? Don't shoot that either, because he's probably trying to show his hit next up. Just get shot in the hand. And that is about it. Any questions that you guys can think of for me? Then I'll go ahead and load up, or next game will be in five minutes. Yes, question.